HDMI versus DisplayPort? For years, these two have been the backbone of digital transmission. But as we look forward, the gap between them is changing in ways that could really impact your experience. It's not just about which plug fits, it's about getting the most performance for your specific needs. So today we're going to break it all down to figure out which one you should be using. All right, let's start with the first thing you'll notice, the physical connectors themselves. HDMI uses a familiar 19-pin trapezoid-shaped connector that you've seen on everything from TVs to game consoles. It's designed for a simple friction fit, and it also comes in smaller mini and micro versions, often found on cameras or portable devices. DisplayPort, on the other hand, typically uses a 20-pin connector that's slightly L-shaped and almost always includes a locking mechanism. You have to press a button to release it, which is great for preventing accidental disconnections on a PC setup, but can sometimes be a bit of a hassle. Now, when it comes to cable length, things get interesting. For the latest high-speed versions, both standards have limitations with passive copper cables. An ultra-high-speed certified HDMI 2.1a cable, which you need for features like 4K at 120 Hz, is generally reliable up to about 10 feet or 3 meters. Go beyond that, and you risk signal degradation. DisplayPort 2.1 has similar short-range limits for its highest bandwidth passive cables. However, both standards offer active and fiber optic cables that can extend these distances significantly, even up to hundreds of feet, but they do come at a higher cost. Moving on from the physical, let's talk about what these cables can actually do. The single biggest factor is bandwidth. The latest HDMI 2.1, a standard tops out at 48 gigabits per second. That's a lot of data, but DisplayPort 2.1 pushes that even further by offering up to 80 gigabits per second. This extra bandwidth directly translates to support for higher resolutions and faster refresh rates. For example, by 2025, we're seeing more monitors that can do 4K at 240Hz. DisplayPort 2.1 can handle that without compression, while HDMI 2.1 is better suited for 4K at 120Hz, which is the standard for modern consoles like the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. For gamers, another key feature is VRR. This technology syncs your monitor's refresh rate to your graphics card's frame rate and eliminates screen tearing for a smoother experience. While both support VRR, DisplayPort has a long history of native support for AMD's FreeSync and NVIDIA's G-Sync, which makes it the preferred choice for many PC gamers. HDMI has its own official VRR feature, along with Auto Low Latency Mode, which automatically puts your TV into its Game Mode to reduce input lag, a feature that's especially useful for console gaming. Also, there's the connection to the wider world of tech, and this is a huge win for DisplayPort. Through something called DisplayPort Alt Mode, the DisplayPort signal can be sent directly over a USB-C cable. This is why you can connect a laptop to a high-resolution monitor with a single USB-C cable for video, data, and power. It's a core feature of most modern laptops and docking stations. While an HDMI alt mode for USB-C does exist, it's far less common, which gives DisplayPort a major advantage in versatility and modern connectivity. So, with DisplayPort having a clear edge in bandwidth and PC-centric features, where does HDMI shine? Its biggest advantage has always been its versatility in the living room. A key feature here is the audio return channel, which lets you send high-quality audio from your TV back to your soundbar or receiver through the same HDMI cable. But what about using multiple monitors? All you need is a display splitter. Connecting four monitors to your laptop might sound like overkill until you try it. Ore Split Extend SX4 C4K 1080 Zero makes it possible to run four extended displays plus your laptop screen through a single USB-A or USB-C port transforming any workspace into a true multitasking command center. Two HDMI outputs support up to 4K at 30 Hz, while the other two offer 1080p at 60 Hz, a practical split between high resolution and smooth refresh rates. Whether you're deep in spreadsheets, writing documents, referencing research, or hosting a presentation, 
This setup lets you keep everything open at once without switching tabs. The compact aluminum build feels premium and portable. It includes a power adapter and supports both Windows and Mac OS 10.14 and above. Just note, silicon motion drivers are required, and on work computers, admin approval might be necessary. Setup is simple. Plug in the displays, power it up, and install the driver. You're ready to go. Bonus. Physical buttons let you toggle displays off without unplugging anything. It's not built for gaming or Netflix, but for productivity-focused professionals, this adapter is a serious screen space upgrade, clean, efficient, and surprisingly easy to manage. Sometimes all it takes to boost your productivity is a little more screen space, or a split extend. Dual monitor adapter delivers just that in a surprisingly compact package. With its clever 2-in-1 USB-C and USB-A cable, it works with a wide range of devices, from modern Ultrabooks to older desktops, and even supports Thunderbolt 3 or 4 and USB 4 connections. Once connected, you can extend your desktop to two external monitors, plus your laptop screen, giving you a total of three displays to spread out your workflow. Whether you're managing emails, editing documents, or referencing multiple tabs, this adapter helps you stay organized without constantly switching windows. It supports up to 1080p resolution on most setups, and while it's not designed for gaming or streaming protected content like Netflix, it's ideal for work tasks, web apps, and everyday multitasking. A quick silicon motion driver install is required, and it's compatible with Windows, Mac OS 10.10 or higher, and even Android devices mirroring only. Lightweight, portable, and simple to use, the Split Extend adapter is a smart pick for anyone looking to expand their workspace without investing in a full docking station. Just plug it in, set your displays, and get to work twice as fast. Need to duplicate your HDMI signal to two monitors without dropping resolution or quality? Ore Split Extend UHDS 102. HDMI Splitter does exactly that, sending one input signal to two displays in full 4K Ultra HD. Whether you're mirroring content for a presentation, setting up dual TVs, or running two 4K screens from one media source, this compact splitter handles the job with ease. Setup is straightforward. Just connect your HDMI input from a source like a Roku, Fire TV, Blu-ray player, or game console, then plug in your two output displays. A 5-volt DC power adapter is included, and once powered, the splitter automatically detects and sends the signal to both monitors up to 30 feet apart. You'll also find LED indicators that confirm each connection is working properly. The solid metal housing isn't just durable. It also helps reduce interference, keeping your video and audio signal clean. The unit supports HDMI 1.3, 1.4, and 2.0, and works with formats like Dolby, DTS HD, and 3D video. Just keep in mind, it duplicates your display, not extends it. So both monitors will show the same content. But for mirroring high-quality video on two screens simultaneously, the UHDS 102 is a small but powerful solution. Having a cheap and reliable HDMI splitter means you can scale your setup without needing extra GPUs. What stood out to us was plug-and-play simplicity. You just set it up, and it worked as advertised. Of course, you're mirroring, not extending. But for presentation setups or duplicated displays, HDMI wins for ease. This brings us to one of DisplayPort's most significant advantages for power users, native multi-monitor support. DisplayPort has a built-in technology called Multi-Stream Transport. This allows you to run multiple independent extended displays from a single DisplayPort output on your graphics card. You can do this in two ways, either by connecting to an MST hub which is a small box that splits the signal into multiple outputs, or by daisy-chaining compatible monitors together. This is a hardware-level feature, which means it doesn't rely on software drivers or video compression in the same way the USB to HDMI adapters do. 
the computer's graphics card directly controls each screen as a separate display. This makes MST a far more robust and higher performance solution for multi-monitor gaming, video editing, and other demanding tasks. When you combine MST with DisplayPort's superior bandwidth, it becomes the clear choice for anyone building a serious multi-monitor PC setup for work or play. Time to wrap up. Let's break it down into some simple pros and cons. So, which one should you use? It's not a simple answer because it truly depends on what you're connecting. For the living room, your TV, soundbar, and game consoles like the PS5 or Xbox Series X, HDMI is the easiest pick. It's built for that ecosystem. But for a high-end PC setup, especially for competitive gaming or a multi-monitor workstation, DisplayPort is the superior choice as it offers more bandwidth and native features like MST. Choose the cable that was designed for your world and let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.